Welcome to Practical Team Sport. Um, this is to do with your second assignment, which is due in on the 5th of January. Uh, I will go through how you're going to be assessed, your assignment brief, additional tips, and then we're going to go into the main body of the actual lecture today, which is looking at um, the, the necessary roles for you to answer the assessment. So how will you be assessed? You'll be assessed um, in multiple different forms. You are expected to show that you understand the rules, regulations and scoring systems for selected sports and how to apply these in given situations. You will also be required to demonstrate knowledge of the roles and responsibilities of officials, you know, referees and umpires and such. You will then be observed and assessed for your ability to use skills, techniques and tactics while playing sport. And you will need to show that you know how to review your own performance to identify your strengths and weaknesses. Your assessment could take the form of practical demonstrations, verbal or written work to show understanding of rules, regulations and roles of the officials, and as well as an observation checklist. So the assignment brief, uh, what you are supposed to be doing. So the scenario goes like this. A head coach of an under 11 sports team has asked you to help the players with their understanding of rules and scoring systems of two different sports. Um, you can either develop a short video or a poster that gives the information about the following two sports of your choice. So you will need to tell uh, me about the rules and regulations and scoring systems of the two different sports and the roles and responsibilities of officials in those two different sports. Um, I'd also like you to highlight if there are any similarities or differences between the roles and responsibilities of the officials. So, for example, a rugby um, referee as opposed to a uh, American football um, umpire slash referee. Can you recommend ways to improve the application of the rules, regulations and scoring systems? An example of this, a crazy example, is in 1996 when the World Cup was in America. They wanted to award extra points for scoring from the halfway line. Obviously, that wasn't adapted, but that's a concept you kind of think about. Um, in your video or poster, uh, you're going to select one of these sports and take on the role of a referee. Now, you should demonstrate how the rules are applied correctly in four situations. So you're going to be demonstrating yourself as a referee and showing how these roles will take place uh, in a practical demonstration. So the key points, you are going to describe a range of rules and laws produced by the governing body um, for teaching team sport. You're going to look at the unwritten rules and the etiquette. You're going to describe a range of regulations for each sport. So players, officials, spectators, facilities, equipment, playing services, scoring systems, health and safety, child protection, uh, insurance and administration. So we're going to be looking at these and you're going to be highlighting these when you're writing your report and you're going to relate these rules and regulations to different situations for each of their chosen sports. So you're going to tell me about, you know, for example, the rules and regulations and laws for rugby or football, the unwritten rules, the etiquette, um, lots of different parts of rules that need to be you know, uh, highlighted. You're going to describe these situations, explain how the rules and regulations are applied. So people playing in legal positions, injured players, ball out of play, illegal challenges, goal scores, and start how you restart play. Additional tips, you need to provide examples to show how each official applies the rules effectively with competitive situations. Give your ideas of how the rules of each sport could be developed to make the sport more entertaining, so how would you improve it? Consider methods of scoring and other rules which could be adapted to make the game more exciting. You will then demonstrate the methods of communications used to apply these rules in each of these situations. So in order to get a distinction, students must use informative, appro uh, appropriately uh, reference information about rules and regulations taken from a wide range of specialist sources in different formats and apply um, these to different situations for each sport and accurately communicate this in your own words. So first task. Um, what I want you to do, obviously, it's it's you're going to be working in in isolation. So I want you to make a list of the five rules which you have to abide by in your school. Uh, I want you to um, maybe discuss this with a family member, or uh, write down how these rules are implemented and what happens if you break each rule. Um, who implements the rules within your college? Is it you know senior leadership? Is it your college tutor? 
So let's talk about the key terms. So I always talk about defining things and understanding the words before we move on to it. So sport, what is sport? An activity such as athletics, hockey, netball or swimming that involves physical exertion, skill, competition and rules. Sport require rules. What's an NGB? What's a national governing body? An NGB is an organisation responsible for the promotion and development of a particular sport at national level. What's an international governing body? An IGB. Well, this is an organisation responsible for the promotion and development of the particular sport at an international level. For example, FIFA is an international governing body, an IGB. So, introduction. All sports have a set of rules or laws that makes it a sport. It is these rules that determine the format of the game and provide structure and discipline. So rules. Rules are determined by the international governing body of each sport, the IGB. It is the role of the NGB, national governing body, in the UK to work closely with the international governing bodies to ensure that rules are observed by the officials, clubs, performers during organised competitions. Different sports have different national governing bodies. So you can see here quite clearly football has the FA, rugby has the RFU, uh, rugby League has the RFL, Athletics have UK Athletics, uh, Orienteering have British Orienteering and Skiing is part of the Snow Sports England. And you can see the relevant uh, websites if you want to investigate that further. Due to the high number of participants in certain sports, some national governing bodies require what's called regional governing bodies to support and coordinate and organise the sport at a regional level. Um, for example, in football, each county in England has its own football association. So here's an example of, of FIFA. So um, the chart shows the organisation of football across the world. So at the top is FIFA. OK, and then you can see underneath that you have um, sort of uh, national governing bodies. So the Asian Football Confederation uh, is one of them. You have the UEFA, which is the Union of U uh, European football and um, below that you have a sort of a national level so you've got uh, FA so that's the English Football Association so you can see that you've got international and you've got kind of like large regions such as Europe Asia um, Africa and then you have underneath that you have the, the you have the the uh, national governing bodies and below that you have that regional governing body so your first task your task is to research the regional football association closest to your school provide an address and a telephone number for the regional office. I've given you a clue in the picture right in front of you. Identify the NGB for the three for three other sports and identify whether or not they have any regional governing bodies within that local area. So, for example, does rugby have a regional governing body? Guys, I'm going to pause this uh, lecture and we're going to end it now. So you're going to use that time to kind of write that information down and another lecture will be uploaded shortly.